Oh, that's not good. Uh, I was planning on starting the video telling you guys there's a village over there. Check it out. You can see it. But look what we got here. Um, I don't think it's a good idea because I don't. I've been I've been getting some farmland going. I was gonna tell you guys I made some some progress here. I made a tree, kind of a tree farm over here. Put some path blocks around it. That uh, looks really good. But those guys have seemed to ruin everything. Oh look, there's a pigment in there. So yeah, uh, we have a full thing of uh, wheat land over here, as you can see. Uh, I've just been using this. I actually got a lot of my uh, my wheat from over there at the village. Uh, but these guys have kind of ruined my mojo for this video. Yeah, so I wanted to go ahead and actually kind of clear this out right here so we could put some pens. But uh, yeah, I might need to might need to get that moving because uh, I think if you drink milk, you can get rid of the the buff that that guy will give you the ca the captain. Uh, but I don't think they've made they realize I'm here yet. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna make some a shovel real quick because I. I just broke, almost broke mine. So I will go ahead and clear that land out. I have some very noisy guests now. Yeah, very noisy. So I went ahead and got these guys over here. As you can see, they're a little bit further away from our base. Uh, I made the mistake a few episodes in uh, Valhelsia 2 of having them too close. So I moved them further away. Uh, we're going to go ahead and line everything up in here so that they are all good to go. But as you can see, we got three sheep. We got four cows and four pigs. Very cool. We can actually start going ahead and breeding these guys up just by getting this. Now, you might be asking, what do the cows have to do, or the cows and the pigs and the sheepums have to do with what we're doing today? And, well, for one, I need a, a steady food source. So, sorry, cows. And two, uh, Pam's Harvest Craft is updated to 1.16. Yeah, pretty neat, huh? If I do say so myself. So, yeah, we're going to be messing with around with Pam's Harvest Craft today. Now, the cool thing about Pam's Harvest Craft is, is it's basically just some, if you're not familiar with it, it's uh, it's got some really cool food options in there for us. It's kind of like an add-on, like think of Vanilla Plus for food. Now we can come here for now and just breed these guys up along with these guys as well. Ooh, that's... Poor guy. There's one remaining. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and breed up the pigs as well. Come here, piggos. These are gonna, we, eventually, we're going to get more uh, sheep in here, and we'll go ahead and shear them, and we'll just put the whole carpet trick on there. Since mobs don't see that as a block, they can jump on, and we can jump on it no problem. Get over this so that we don't have to worry about the gate you know, going in or out, trying to kill them or something like that. So very cool. We got some taters over here. Check this out. These are fully mature. Very cool. We can go ahead and do this. I'm also going to go ahead and move one of these one block further away so we can have a divider in between the two farms here. Uh, I want to go ahead and stagger these so it looks a little bit cooler on the map, but then I realized I made a mistake by not having that space. And so I'll be doing that off camera. I'll probably just move this one over one more block or, t or the other one. But yeah, so we also have the um, the hemp seeds here, which is what we're going to be needing in a future episode. Very cool. Uh, these are really good for the hemp f industrial hemp fiber, and we can use these to make string, uh, to make the hemp fiber rope, and these will get us into immersive engineering for like tough fabric to make a windmill and stuff like that. So yeah, so let's go ahead and take a look at Pam's Harvest Craft from here. Uh, I do have a few of the items we will need right over here. As you can see, these are all the tools we'll need. Uh, so like bakeware, we need a bunch of clay. Uh, that requires clay, a stick, and some planks. Uh, juicers, just some clay, clay and a stick, wood, mixing bowl. A pot is a stick and four brick. Uh, that one's easy. That looks like, yeah, that's a roller. Uh, yep, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a lot of clay. I'm gonna go ahead and get a, uh, a montage going of this. I think it'd be pretty cool. Aha! Oh ho 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 ho! Playing hard to get, huh? Well, aren't you something special? Uh, invincible? Oh, he's gone. So, with 49 bricks now at our disposal, let's go ahead and make what we can of this. Now I do have uh, not that much storage. So each item that we do make, we're gonna go ahead and put over here. Uh, yeah, uh, we're gonna go, we're actually gonna put a few in here. We're gonna turn half of these into sticks. Okay. 
So now if we come here like that, yep, we should be able to make that no problem. Bam. And with that, we do have all of the Pam's Harvest Craft, I guess, baking slash food making things done. So let's see what we can go ahead and make here. Now, can we make some beef jerky? We do need some salt. Uh, that's for mechanism. What about Pam's Harvest Craft? Pot and water. Okay, so we do have a pot now. So let's go ahead and head over to our water source over here and make some salt. All right, so salt was just combining these two together. Bam, we made some salt. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and keep doing this a few times. Oof, it's one to one. This is tough. Probably be easier if I brought over a uh, more items, more buckets. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we made up half a stack of the salt here. That did take a little bit longer than I was hoping for, so, but now we should be able to throw this back here and to make the different jerkies. Here we can make beef jerky, pork jerky. Can we make mutton jerky? Is that a thing too? Maybe, but to do that, we need to go ahead and get the cutting board out. So all we need to do is do this, do this, and the salt, and we get beef jerky. Do that with mutton? Oh, we sure can. And that's all the stuff we have. So what we can do is go ahead and set up a chicken farm. And we can go ahead and, is there a way to automate salt? I don't actually believe so. Uh, we could do it through mechanism eventually, which might be good because this is a decent food source. Um, but yeah, check that out. So the beef jerky is by far better than the mutton jerky, but it's still really good. Nice. So that is the first item that we can go ahead and make with Pam's Harvest Craft. <laughs> Guys, look at my chicken RV. <laughs> There's so many of them. Oh my goodness. All right, guys. So I was able to get the chickens over here. These are going to be the first guys for our chicken army. We'll go ahead and breed these guys up. Now, the reason we're breeding these up is because eventually I just want to come into here and grab some eggs so we can set up like an like an AFK uh, fish or chicken farm. Uh, but we'll eventually do that later on. But as of right now, since we do have a few eggs that we got from them, we can go ahead and make up some cool stuff. So one of the things I want to try to make is the scrambled egg. Now to do this, we need egg, we need salt, we need a skillet, and we need some fresh milk. Now the first issue that we're running into is we are desperately in need of some more storage. So we can go ahead and make up two more of these chests here. Uh, we probably need to be thinking about like an actual base here soon. Uh, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is just do this real quick. We just have the items we basically need. Put these back on our hot bar. That's for our axe that broke. Okay, so we can go ahead and grab the eggs. We can go ahead and grab the salt. Um, oh, the buckets are in here as well. And we're gonna need to grab the skillet. Cool, now the next thing we need is to fill up the buckets with milk. Okay, so. Milk, milk, milk. Cool beans. So, should be able to go ahead and go like this. Yeah. Very cool. I was able to grab some more of the of the eggs from the chickens over here. Already looking good. Look at all these chicken. Look at all those chickens. Okay, so we can go ahead and make some more of the scrambled egg. Bam. 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 We're gonna we're just gonna get one more bucket then. Very cool. So that is like the second 
Like, real item I've made in Pam's Harvest Craft. Normally, I don't really mess with this. I just stick to a basic food item. But I'm kind of excited to try out some of these different recipes. Very cool. So, we are going to have a different food chest. But for now, we'll go ahead and throw that there. Uh, we'll probably throw that and that in there as well. Just because I say. So, the next thing I want to go ahead and show you guys is the juicer. So, this thing here is very cool. Uh, we do have some apples we can go ahead and use this on. We have 11 of them. So if we go here like this, before we do that, I want to see, can we make like an apple tree or something? Make a fruit salad, you know, yummy, yummy. Uh, trail mix, chocolate bar. How do you make a chocolate bar? Ooh, coca beans. We don't quite have that yet. But let's see here. Can we make an apple tree just yet? Uh, it doesn't look like we can. We can make apple jelly, though, with sugar and an apple. I did go ahead and get a whole bunch of sugar. So, ooh. Ooh, pickled beets. That's disgusting. Okay, let's go ahead. Look at that saturation it gives you. What do we get for the juice? Point one. Yeah, we're not going to be making the apple juice here. That's kind of ridiculous. We're going to go ahead and make the, uh, the thing. Yeah, the fruit salad. Look at that. Jeez Louise. That's saturation. It fills you up each time you eat one with saturation. Very, very cool. All right, so let's go ahead and grab the sugar cane because we are going to be needing the sugar cane eventually. I have 23 of them. We we'll go ahead and plant them over here. I don't know if I've showed you guys this yet, but I did set up a little area for our sugar cane to eventually grow. Uh, we do have just a few over here. Cool, we got some of that grew too. So let's go ahead and just, just send it, dude. Nice, we got one of these full sides completed. And about halfway through the sad, a little less than halfway, not quite. Uh, but very cool. So now these will start to grow, and we're going to have this hole filled up with sugar cane. Now, if you are a experienced Minecraft player, you will know that having a sugar cane farm and a cow farm mean that eventually we're probably going to have a full set of uh, bookshelves for our enchanting table. So let's go ahead and make an enchanting table and kind of find a spot for it. All right, so unfortunately, I will need to draw some of these guys, but we only need to do two of these because this one did just grow. Now, we do need to make one, uh, I guess, crafting of the paper. Boop. Wop. Cool. So we do have this now. We can go ahead and place it. I believe it's shapeless crafting. Yep, we have our first book, Knowledge. Very cool. So we can go ahead here, Enchanting Table. I feel, I feel very mystical. Now, we're probably going to end up just putting it like over here. Uh, but now we have the enchanting table there. We can go ahead and enchant some things. So I do have some lapis here. We don't have a lot. Uh, but let's go ahead and we can put an enchant on our diamond pickaxe. All right, so if we come here, best one we can do is eight levels. That's efficiency two. Do we get any in breaking? Yes, we got a breaking one. Perfect. Oh, that is Better than I thought I would get on that. Oh, that's amazing. Now, oh, another one we want to do is probably our chest plate. Uh, do we have a decent enchant on our chest plate? Thorns? Uh, I'm going to go for protection. Yeah, I think that's a safe bet. Uh, if we go on our pants here, we can also get protection one. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do that as well. Just very basic. I'm going to pull these off. Can we get protection? Protection. Ah, it's going to cost two. Dang it. Okay, so we can't get any protection on our boots is kind of sad but i don't think there's any protection there anyway cool so we have three three of four items have protection one on them and we have an efficient efficiency two on breaking one so that is going to be our new pickaxe that we use very very cool so some expansion has taken place as you can see here we're going to eventually kick these out to kind of go out i think this one will go kind of out a little bit and then loop in i think both of these will kind of shoot back this way toward the inside of the mountain but for right now, guys, this is where we're going to be having our our system, our storage. And if you're wondering why this looks so odd, that's because um, we do have iron chests in this pack already. If you, if you look here, um, we just have to surround a chest with iron. Uh, so it's very simple to make. So all we need to do is just click these with a little upgrade, uh, like upgrade thingamabob that we can make. It's very simple and easy. Uh, let's see. We look, yeah, this guy here. So wood to iron chest upgrade. It's just some iron surrounding a piece of wood, and then you can just click these and upgrade them. So it'll be a three by three, kind of like a double chest area. Now, I did want to bring you guys in because I do want to go ahead and make a few items with you. So if we go here like so, uh, we should be able to make a few chests here. 
We also need to turn these into that. So we do have a thing in this mod pack called drawers. Now we're gonna go ahead and make some storage drawers. We need to make one more chest here. Now if we go like this, as you can see, we can make some drawers. Now these are extremely good for holding bulk items like cobblestone. Uh, so you can upgrade these if we go ahead and empty your hand and shift right click. As you can see, there's upgrade slots. Now if we look here in our JEI, uh, these are the upgrades that you can use. Now you can get like, these are different tiers. So uh, these will allow you to hold, I believe, two stacks in each one of these. So obviously for cobblestone, it's not gonna be enough. So we'll need to upgrade it. Now the these are, have different tiers. So tier one is obsidian. You make it with obsidian. It's just two obsidian, one of these upgrade templates, which is a drawer surrounded by sticks. Now you use these to make the different upgrades. Now this one emits like a redstone signal, which is, you can use that for different things. Say if you're getting low on an item and you have like a mob farm, you could go ahead and turn it on once it gets to a certain level. This is if you only need a single stack, it's a downgrade actually with flint. I don't see why you would want that. This is a void upgrade. So if it gets past the certain items, so say it gets past the two stacks that these would have, I think it's two or four, uh, it would start to destroy the items. So every time you put them in here, it wouldn't like hit a limit. Uh, the other ones like, like diamond and stuff like that. This one is 16 times the base value You have 32. Uh, and these are infinite creative storage upgrades that you can't, you can't get it here. Uh, conversion upgrades. These will, um, so say if there are two different mod packs that have like copper in them, it will allow them to be put into here interchangeable. So it's actually a very useful upgrade to have. I don't know why you'd want to waste one of these though. I think there should be like an upgrade, like a conversion click that you need to put on because that's like a convenience thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some more wood over here from these guys and we'll finish up this drawer area. Okay, so it turns out I'm gonna need some more iron to go ahead and get that ball rolling. But the cool thing is we can go ahead and finish uh, with the drawers that we have here because I picked up those chests that were already there. So now we can go ahead and complete this look and this is gonna be our storage wall. Now these are obviously gonna be broken up and they're gonna look silver eventually, but uh, I'm liking that a lot. Now the next step I wanna go ahead and do is we're going to determine what we want in the bulk storage. Just, just like our basic items. We're gonna have cobblestone up in the top left here. Uh, we're gonna have dirt kind of down here in the bottom right. Now we're also gonna have sand in here as well. Uh, let's see how many items we have in there. We have 217. So it does hold a little bit more than I had originally thought, which is always good to be wrong when you get more storage, right? Uh, we can all agree that it's okay to be wrong. Whoops. All right. But, oh, I didn't want that in there. So you just, oh, to get them out of there, uh, to put them in there, you just right click and then to get them out, you shift and then left click like you're trying to break the block. Uh, so if we go like that, those are all in there now. That'll be our gravel. Uh, we do have some more dirt and cobblestone that we need to put away. And then to put more items in, you just start right clicking it like you were trying to place a block. Very, very easy. Uh, that's for all the people who aren't used to playing with modded. Uh, so the more you know, right? Uh, we do have two stacks of clay. We're gonna put these down here because sand is gonna go up in this top right. I put that in the wrong square again. I want that to be up here. So sand, sand's gonna go in the top or the bottom right here. So that is basically what we're gonna do. Now we need to upgrade these eventually, but we don't really need to do that now. I'm not too worried about it. And we don't really have any bulk storage, other things that we want. Um, we do have some silver and nickel ore that we're gonna to need to get smelting up later. Industrial hemp fiber probably isn't a bad one. We can go ahead and put some plants over on this side. Like maybe some oak trees as well for our farm. But as you can see, these just hold, these will allow us to hold a lot more items and they're very, very helpful. Uh, wheat, maybe we'll put one over here. Very, very cool. So for somehow I managed to accidentally center everything with this little hill thing. Uh, eventually we're gonna have like a cool entrance, but we're gonna be moving the door over to there right now. Uh, my, my axe is still broken. I mean, it hasn't come back, but uh, I haven't replaced it yet. So we're gonna go ahead and put that here. We're gonna go ahead and fill that in just like so. We're gonna put this here. We're gonna break these two and we're gonna put them here to kind of make it look a little bit better. Uh, yeah, like I said, we're eventually gonna pretty this entrance up here, but now the door is centered and we can go ahead and start to kind of break the floor because we are gonna be putting that those marble blocks in. I really do like the look of them. They're very clean floor. And so a very good neutral floor to start our base with.
All right, so what do you guys think? Do you think it looks any better? Do you think it looks kind of lame? Well, let me know down in the comments what you think of the new floor. I would like to go ahead and use some basalt. Uh, the new mods in the, are the new blocks in 1.16 to beautify this base. We're also going to uh, indent the roof here so we can go ahead and have a little bit more clearance and be able to have a little bit more depth up top. Uh, so another thing I'm gonna go ahead and do off camera is I'm going to move this hemp seed farm down here. I'm also gonna space it out one more block than I did over here and I'm also gonna move this. I'm gonna push out the carrot farm that way. That way each of them has their own little area and so I know where the line is when it comes to planting the carrots. As you can just kinda guess here, yeah, that works. But if I were to say go, go through this all, it wouldn't anymore, and that's kind of sad. But let's go ahead and have some fruit salad. All right, now we keep, can keep placing this. Very, very basic episode today, guys. I hope you did enjoy. Uh, let me know what you what mod you want to go ahead and see in the future. If there's something that catches your eye, let me know down in the comments. Say, hey, Turtle, I want you to go ahead and make a video on that. I will go ahead and do that for you because I am so excited to be playing this. I'm so excited that you guys are here. I hope you all have a fantastic day. I will see you all in the next one. Take care, peoples. I love your face. Bye-bye.